Peppa Pig. Peppa meets Kylie Kangaroo. It is a lovely sunny day, and Mr. and Mrs. Kangaroo have come to visit Mummy and Daddy Pig. Good eye, Mr. Pig, says Mr. Kangaroo. We met at the airport a while ago, and you said we could visit, remember? Did I? replies Daddy Pig, a bit confused. We didn't have Kylie or Joey back then, adds Mrs. Kangaroo. Say hello, kids. Hello, I'm Kylie Kangaroo, says Kylie. I'm Peppa Pig, snorts Peppa. And this is my little brother, George. <laughs> this is my little brother, Joey, says Kylie, pointing at Mrs. Kangaroo. Joey lives in Mrs. Kangaroo's pocket. He peeks his head out and surprises everyone. <laughs> Laugh Peppa and George. Mr. Kangaroo asks Daddy Pig if he's hungry. I'm always hungry, <laughs> replies Daddy Pig, rubbing his belly. No worries, says Mr. Kangaroo, getting out the barbecue. We'll make lunch for everyone. Do you like corn on the cob? asks Mrs. Kangaroo. Yummy, say Mummy and Daddy Pig. Let's hope it doesn't rain, says Daddy Pig. It always rains when we have a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> While lunch is cooking, Peppa and George want to jump up and down in muddy puddles, but they can't find any. We can still do jumping, says Peppa. Watch this. Peppa jumps as high as she can. Now you try, Kylie, she says. Kylie jumps high into the air. I like jumping too, she says. Whee! Wow! Gasped Peppa and George amazed. Kangaroos can jump very high. <laughs> We're playing jumping, says Peppa when Rebecca Rabbit arrives. Watch this, squeaks Rebecca, jumping as high as she can. Peppa asks Kylie to show Rebecca how high she can jump. Wow! gasped Rebecca, watching Kylie spring up into the air. Pedro Pony bounces into the garden on his space hopper. Kylie can jump higher than that, says Peppa. Show him, Kylie. Wow! gasped Pedro, watching Kylie leap up into the air. Kylie is the best at jumping because she's a kangaroo. Food's ready! calls Mr. Kangaroo, but just as they are about to eat, it starts to rain. Oh dear, sighs Daddy Pig. No worries, says Mr. Kangaroo, putting up a huge umbrella. The rain makes eating outside more fun. After they finish their corn, the rain stops and the sun comes out again. The rain makes lots of muddy puddles too, says Peppa, jumping up and down. Wow, gasped Kylie. That looks really fun. Can we try it as well? Everyone joins Peppa, and they all make a giant muddy puddle. I'm the best at jumping in because I'm a kangaroo, says Kylie. But Peppa is the best at jumping up and down in muddy puddles. The end. Peppa and the Backyard Circus. Bang, bang, bang. It is a sunny day. Peppa and her friends are visiting Grandpa and Granny Pig. Grandpa Pig is using his hammer. It's a circus tent, says Peppa.
Peppa Pig, Babysitter. Mommy and Daddy Pig are going out for the evening. Granny and Grandpa Pig are babysitting Peppa and George. Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig, says Peppa happily. Daddy Pig, Papa Pig. George joins in. <laughs> Good night, says Daddy Pig. Good night, says Mummy Pig. Now go to sleep quickly. What little darlings, says Granny Pig. So well behaved. <sighs> Peppa yawns and Daddy Pig switches off the bedroom light. Mummy and Daddy Pig leave for their evening out. Inside the house, Grandpa and Granny sit down on the sofa. They share a tasty pizza. Hmm. This babysitting is easy, says Grandpa Pig. In the bedroom, Peppa does not want to go to sleep. George, are you awake? She whispers. George grunts excitedly. Peppa laughs. She climbs down the bunk bed ladder and switches on the bedroom light. George picks up a spotted ball and bounces it to Peppa. She bounces it back. They both giggle. Soon there are toys all over the floor. It is so hard to go to sleep when playing is much more fun. <laughs> Grandpa Pig and Granny Pig are watching TV. Peppa and George come downstairs to the living room. George and I are not sleepy at all, says Peppa. Can we watch TV with you? Hmm. I suppose watching a little TV might make you sleepy, says Granny Pig. The TV show is about gardening. This program is very boring, says Peppa, yawning. She suggests playing a game instead. Grandpa, can you throw us up and catch us? asks Peppa. OK, but just one turn each, says Grandpa. Peppa laughs as Grandpa Pig throws her in the air, then catches her. <laughs> you, you seem heavier than before, says Grandpa Pig. Now it is George's turn, says Grandpa Pig. George loves feeling like he's flying. Hiya, hiya, shouts George, as Grandpa Pig starts to wheeze. Maybe Grandpa is a bit tired, says Granny Pig. Granny, let's play it, says Peppa. You're it. Peppa taps Granny Pig on the nose. Granny Pig chases Peppa George and Grandpa Pig around the sofa. I'm going to catch you, she cries. Everyone runs and giggles. Later, Mummy and Daddy Pig arrive back home. I hope our little piggies are asleep, says Mummy Pig. Peppa George, Grandpa Pig and Granny Pig are all snoring on the sofa. The little piggies are asleep, whispers Daddy Pig, and so are the big piggies. <laughs> the Recorders. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. <laughs> Morning, children, says Madame Gazelle. Today we are going to play the recorder. Oh. Ooh, gasped the children, listening as Madame Gazelle plays a tune. <laughs> Madame Gazelle hands a recorder to each of the children. Now, does anyone know how to play music on the recorder? She asks. You blow it like this, cries Peppa. <coughs> Mr. 
That is not music, Peppa, says Madame Gazelle. That is a horrible noise. <coughs> to make music, we must play in a way that sounds not horrible, <coughs> suggests Danny Dog. Yes, Danny, says Madame Gazelle. <coughs> Madame Gazelle tries to teach the children how to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on the recorder. Cover these little holes with your fingertips and blow, she says. The children play on the recorders. <coughs> it's time for the children's parents to pick them up from playgroup. Remember, the most important thing when learning to play a musical instrument, says Madame Gazelle, is lots and lots of practice. Goodbye, Madame Gazelle! Everyone calls. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like someone is learning to play the recorder, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> it's me! cries Peppa. Madame Gazelle said I have to practice lots. <laughs> oh, says Mario Pig. Daddy Pig will help you while I, uh, do some work in another room. <coughs> Susie Sheep is practicing the recorder at her house too. La la la, <coughs> sings Mummy Sheep. Yes, that's it, Susie. Keep going. <laughs> Danny is also practicing. Very good, Danny, says Captain Dog. How about we go out on my boat now? No, replies Danny. I have to keep trying until I get it right. Of course, says Captain Dog. Peppa and her friends have been practicing their recorders all week, and now it's time to do a concert for the parents. Welcome to our concert, parents, says Madame Gazelle. Ready, children? The children play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star together on their recorders. <laughs> It is a very noisy concert. At the end of the concert, the parents give the children a big round of applause. <laughs> Haven't the children worked hard, says Madame Gazelle. Yes, replies Daddy Pig, and now it's over. It's strange to think it was only for a week of our lives. I want you to learn this next tune, says Madame Gazelle. She plays Mary Had a Little Lamb on her recorder. The children try to copy her. Remember, go home and practice, 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 says Madame Gazelle. Peppa loves the recorder. Everyone loves the recorder. Peppa and Family Peppa loves her family. Sometimes they all meet up for a picnic. Mummy and Daddy Pig bring the sandwiches. Hmm. Granny and Grandpa Pig bring the cakes. Hooray! Uncle and Auntie Pig bring the fruit. Peppa, calls Cousin Chloe, sit next to me. Peppa skips across the grass. Yay! George is Peppa's little brother. He likes dinosaurs. <laughs> Puddles and tickles. <laughs> on wet days, Peppa and George put on their boots and go outside. Wow. There's a puddle, <coughs> says Peppa. Let's jump in it. <laughs> George giggles. <laughs> 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 
George loves splashing in puddles with his big sister Peppa. <coughs> mummy Pig is a clever, busy mummy. Sometimes she works quietly on her computer. Sometimes she enjoys going to noisy birthday parties with Peppa and George. <coughs> Wee! shouts Mummy Pig. This is fun! Good bouncing, Mummy, says Peppa. <coughs> Daddy Pig is a cheerful, kind daddy. <laughs> he likes watching racing cars on TV. On Father's Day, Peppa and George make a special card for Daddy Pig. Oh, he gasps, what a lot of glitter. The card has made Daddy Pig all, all sparkly. <laughs> it says that you are the bestest daddy in the whole world. Cheers, Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> Granny Pig enjoys cooking and baking. She loves making tasty things for Peppa and George to eat. Hmm. Let's pick some strawberries, <laughs> says Granny Pig. We can put them in a cake. Hooray! Can we help you make it? <laughs> asks Peppa. Granny Pig laughs. Of course! Peppa fills up her basket. She loves visiting the strawberry farm with Granny Pig. Grandpa Pig has lots of hobbies. Wow! He likes gardening, boating and bird watching. Oh. Every time we see a bird, I put a kick in my book, says Grandpa Pig. Bird, cries George. <laughs> Well done, George, says Peppa. That's a pigeon. Grandpa Pig fills his book with ticks. George has spotted lots of pigeons. <coughs> Uncle and Auntie Pig live far away. Oh. Peppa likes to visit for sleepovers. Hello, Peppa, says Auntie Pig. Hello, George. <coughs> Come in, says Uncle Pig. You must be tired after your long journey. We are, replies Mummy Pig. <coughs> I'm not tired at all, says Peppa, running inside to see her cousins. <coughs> Cousin Chloe and baby Alexander are Peppa's favourite cousins. <coughs> Cousin Chloe is big and grown up. <coughs> baby Alexander is still very small. It's baby Alexander's bath time, says Cousin Chloe. Do you want to help Peppa? Yes, please, <coughs> says Peppa. <laughs> baby Alexander laughs. He likes splashing about in the water. Peppa loves her family. Everyone loves Peppa. <laughs> the End Peppa Pig and the Family Reunion <coughs> Peppa and George are very excited. <laughs> Today the Pig family is having a reunion. Wow! Everyone in the family will be there. <coughs> You've brought pie, says Peppa. <coughs> I love pie. Mmm, says George. <laughs> Uncle Pig and Auntie Pig unpack the car. They have brought a lot of stuff for the baby. <coughs> Daddy Pig helps Uncle Pig unload a high chair, some baby toys, a stroller and even a bathtub. <coughs> Peppa likes baby Alexander. <laughs> Would you like to help feed the baby? asks Auntie Pig. <coughs> Oh yes, says Peppa. She tries to feed baby Alexander. He turns away. Peppa tries again. The baby won't open his mouth. Oh no! Try playing an airplane, says Auntie Pig. 
she shows Peppa how to fly the spoon into baby Alexander's mouth. <laughs> it works. Can you say airplane? Asked Peppa. Baby Alexander can't talk yet. <laughs> Peppa wants to teach baby Alexander to talk. Can you say dinosaur? says baby Alexander. Later that night, it's time to put baby Alexander to bed. But he doesn't sleep for long. What's that noise? asks Peppa. Baby Alexander is awake. No, what's that other noise? That's the vacuum cleaner, says Chloe. Why are you vacuuming at night? asks Daddy Pig. And why is Auntie Pig playing a trumpet? <coughs> Loud noises are the best way to get baby Alexander to sleep, shouts Uncle Pig. We are a very noisy family. <coughs> it is a very noisy night. After breakfast the next morning, everyone goes for a walk. Peppa tries to teach baby Alexander a new word. Look, a bird, says Peppa. <coughs> says baby Alexander. Sky, says Peppa. <coughs> says baby Alexander. <coughs> then it's time for the family reunion lunch. Hmm. They are having Peppa's favourite, spaghetti. Daddy Pig and Uncle Pig love spaghetti too. Both of them ask for more. For dessert, everyone has a piece of Granny Pig's pie. Hooray! Yum! Peppa says to Baby Alexander. Hmm. <coughs> says Baby Alexander. <coughs> Chloe has brought her puppet theatre, and she and Peppa and George put on a puppet show. Wow! They make a Chloe puppet, a Peppa puppet, and a dinosaur puppet for George. <laughs> everyone claps after the puppet show. Well, almost everyone. <gasps> Daddy Pig and Uncle Pig have fallen asleep. Peppa and Chloe go outside to play before the reunion is over. Baby Alexander likes to watch them play in the mud. Look, baby Alexander, says Peppa, we're jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> and then it happens. Baby Alexander says his first word. Puddles. Well done, baby Alexander. Well done, Peppa. <coughs> the end. <coughs> Peppa Pig, George's friend. <coughs> Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun at the playground today. Peppa is on the roundabout with Susie Sheep and Danny Dog. George is playing in the sandpit with Mummy Pig. Rebecca Rabbit and her little brother Richard Rabbit arrive. Richard has brought his toy dinosaur. Hello everyone, says Rebecca. Please can I play on the roundabout too? Hop on, Rebecca, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> Let's go really, really fast, says Rebecca. Richard wants to go on the roundabout with his big sister. <gasps> Peppa sighs. <sighs> if Richard gets on, it means we can't go fast. <coughs> Richard, perhaps you'd like to play with George instead, says Mummy Rabbit. No, says Richard. 
George has a dinosaur just like yours, says Mummy Rabbit. Let's go and see. Richard is the same age as George, and they both love dinosaurs. Richard wanted to see George's dinosaur, says Mummy Rabbit. Urgh, dinosaur, roars George. George and Richard both giggle. George, can Richard play with your dinosaur? asks Mummy Pig. No, says George. Richard, can George play with your dinosaur? asks Mummy Rabbit. No, says Richard. George and Richard do not want to share their dinosaurs. <coughs> Mummy Rabbit gives both dinosaurs to George. George laughs and Richard starts to cry. <coughs> then Mummy Pig gives both dinosaurs to Richard. Richard laughs and George starts to cry. <coughs> George and Richard always cry when they play together, says Peppa. Can you two big girls teach him how to play together? asks Mummy Rabbit. Peppa and Rebecca take George and Richard to the sand pit. The girls show their brothers how to make sand castles. Wow. George uses his spade to squash Richard's sand castle. Richard cries. Richard uses his spade to squash George's sandcastle. George cries. This game has not gone very well. George, what's your favourite thing in the whole playground? asks Mammy Pig. Seesaw, shouts George. George sits on one end of the seesaw, but it needs someone on the other end. Richard wants to play on the seesaw too. <laughs> Mummy Rabbit lifts Richard onto the seesaw. George and Richard go up and down on the seesaw. George and Richard are playing together, cheers Peppa. George likes Richard. Richard likes George. George and Richard like playing together. The end. Peppa Pig in the garden. This is Peppa. This is her brother, George. This is Grandpa Pig and Granny Pig. Peppa George and Grandpa Pig are in the garden. Grandpa Pig gives Peppa a lettuce. Wow! What is that? says Peppa. It is a snail, says Grandpa Pig. George likes the snail. Where is the snail now, Grandpa? says Peppa. It is in its shell, says Grandpa Pig. The shell is the snail's house. George likes the snail's shell. Peppa likes it too. Can we be snails in our houses, says Peppa. Peppa and George's friends come to the garden. What is that? They say. They are bees, says Grandpa Pig. Wow! What are they doing? Says Peppa. They are making honey, says Grandpa Pig. Hmm. I like honey, says Peppa. Let's be bees, say the friends. Bzz, 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 they say. <laughs> Granny Pig is in the garden. She gives Peppa and her friends some honey on bread. Mm. 
I like bees, says Peppa. <laughs> we like bees too, say Peppa's friends. <laughs> we like eating their honey, it's great. The end.